Hallelujah, church. What a blessed day to be in his presence. What a wonderful day. What God is doing and what he's going to do. Amen. I pray for the favor of God and the blessing of God to be over and in your life. You know, out of the book of Ephesians, it talks about these great and mighty gifts. These gifts that God has in store for you. Amen. As we believe and take access unto those. As there is that prayer, the prayer of faith. As we pray and we believe into his promises and what he has in store for you church there are gifts amen there are gifts in the spirit there are gifts in the kingdom amen the blessings belong to you hallelujah as you receive and you walk hallelujah in those blessings that god has in store for you you know i believe in sowing seed all year round i believe that the soul that leaves your hand is not the soul that leaves your life Amen. It continually is to move forward. It continually to march forward into your life. And right now, I just really plead the blessings of God over and in your life, hallelujah, to overload you, to overtake you. I mean, I like to say it this way, to hunt you down, amen. Money comes after me, hallelujah. The blessings come after me, hallelujah. The good works of the Lord Jesus Christ, miracles and signs and wonders will follow the believer, hallelujah. And so, church, this isn't only a about money. This is about the signs of the time of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the blessings, hallelujah, and the gifts and the wonders and the miracles that God wants to use you and to pour over you in your life. You know, there was a teaching that I had given unto my brother at one time and how the Lord had took this man to heaven. And literally when he went into a room, there was rooms full of gifts, rooms full of blessings. And he said, what room is this? And he said, all of this belong to you. Hallelujah. Because you didn't ask, you didn't receive, you didn't knock, the door wasn't open. Amen. And so when you don't seek, we don't find. And so these are biblical terms in what we are speaking to lay hold of the promises that God has for your life. So take hold of the kingdom, receive it, walk in the abundance of the Lord Jesus Christ. We know through the suffering, we know through the pain, we know through all of this, we can still count it as joy. So I want you to rejoice today. I want you to put on the mind of Christ and march forward into the God's kingdom where there is the land of plenty, the land of more than enough to flow into your life. Because God can look as well where there's the two or three. Amen. Look at the two loaves. Look at the two fishes. Look at the abundance of God gave into the multitude of thousands. Hallelujah. And that is the same way within our lives. Because where there's two or three gathered. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, God is in the mix, hallelujah. So that's what I want to share with you today. Even though you say, you know what, you're smart, you're uh, beginning in the small, hallelujah, you know, small things begins to lead unto greater things. Look at the heaven, look at the heavens, and know that the kingdom of God is drawing near unto us receive it today walk in it today walk in the land of his fullness glory to god you know the church on sunday was jumping and rejoicing and praising god hallelujah Boy, I felt like I was in the river of Jordan, <laughs> you know, just rejoicing. So I pray to God that that overflow will begin to happen into your life. God's overflow of God's abundance in every aspect within your life. Receive, ask, knock, and seek today. In Jesus' mighty name, rejoice because he's coming soon, church. Amen.